There are a myriad of controllers out there that you can buy at the home center or hardware store, but I have found, and many of you have too, that they tend to be difficult to operate and just feel flimsy. For the sake of product quality and ease of use, I only promote professional grade products. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest professional grade timer on the market and how to program it. Which person are you watching this video? Are you a do-it-yourselfer who is accustomed to running down to the local hardware store and just buying whatever they have to offer or whatever is cheapest? Or are you someone who relies on your gardener or lawnmower to do the occasional irrigation repair or timer adjustment? Or do you prefer to stick with the professional irrigation repair tech like me to handle all your irrigation needs? Whichever of these groups you fall into, I believe I can enlighten you on which timer to purchase next if what you are looking for is the easiest to operate regardless of the price. Why do I bring up about price? Well, I'm going to be upfront with you about this timer. It is the easiest pro grade timer on the market, but it also tends to be the most expensive too. Why? Well, to build this quality built to last, built like a tank controller, there are no thin plastics here. They use an old school circuit board with a fuse and a terminal strip. There's nothing cheap about this timer. Nowadays, most timers are built with thin, cheap plastics and the least expensive methods of circuitry possible. To understand why it's such a uniquely simple design, we need to go back to the 1986-ish when the Hardy HR6100 timer was first introduced. To my knowledge, it was the first digital timer of its kind. It was amazingly simple to operate with its dial design. You just point it to the operation you want to program or use and the appropriate readout would show on the display. It was so simple, even in its circuitry, that it only displayed 24 hour military time so as a civilian, you had to do the math to figure out what time of day it was showing. This was such a revolutionary timer in its day because up till then we had to use these mechanical gear driven timers by Richdale Lawn Genie, which were not versatile and Rainbird had a pro grade series called the RC series, which were pretty awesome at the time, but they were huge. When the HR 6100s came out, I installed a boatload of them. Converting those gear-driven ones to these or simply automating systems that were originally manual brass valves like these. These HR6100s were also available in home centers under the Rainjet name. The one downside was that they were only designed as an indoor model so they weren't weatherproof. Eventually they upgraded the timers to a gray chassis and made other improvements. In 1992, the next generation of this timer was introduced as the Hardy Rain Dial series, which was built like a tank. It was heavy, tough, and now had an outdoor model which enclosed the transformer inside the cabinet to keep it waterproof. The one thing they didn't change was the dial design. They knew that this was the magic of their success, so they knew better than to mess with it. So to this very day, they haven't changed a thing about the interface. With the introduction of the rain dial, they introduced the available 9 and 12 station models to the 6 station design. If you need more than 12 stations or more programming versatility, you can bump up to the Eritrol Total Control Series, which offers 11 different options from 6 stations to 48. In 1996, the Hardy Irrigation Group got bought out by Toro, but the timer remained the same. A few years ago, a major internal upgrade occurred with the rain dial, which was reflected on the blue interface. It's the R series of rain dials. The new technology allowed for a remote control unit to be attached, saving time for the tech or homeowner by not having to run back and forth to the timer while doing inspections and repairs. 
It also saves the homeowner money while irrigation technicians are working on their system since the techs don't waste time running back and forth to the timer. The other components that can be attached are the climate logic system, rain sensors, and flow sensors. These can be monitored on your computer if you have their smart logic Wi-Fi system installed. A few years ago, the California government decided that the transformers were polluting our environment. So they insisted that all irrigation timer transformers now be built into the timer cabinet so the indoor and outdoor models of the rain dials now look the same and eventually will be the same, but for now the difference is that the indoor model does not have a lockable door and the pigtail is not sealed underneath. Think of it. I can't recall any other timer on the market that has kept its interface identical for so long. 30 years. Most timers don't even stay in production that long. This is a testimony of its popularity because of the simplicity of its design. Now that you understand the why of its simplicity and its history, it's time to show you how to program it. Now, keep in mind that there are a plethora of hidden programming techniques that you can access with secret handshakes and special codes, but I don't know anyone that uses those. The whole point of this timer is the simplicity. Before I get started here, let's be respectfully honest that with some folks, even the simplest design can be too much to grasp. That's okay. I've designed a free download that can help with the programming procedure. Just click on the link below. There are only three main things you normally need to consider when programming. What time to start the watering? how long each station or zone should water, and how often to water. It's that simple. So that I can provide a separate how-to video about how to program this timer, I decided to make that a separate video. So click on the link above or below or at the end of this video to learn how to program it. Okay, I've shown you why the Rain Dial series is the easiest irrigation controller on the market. If you're interested in purchasing the Rain Dial or Total Control Timers, consider purchasing them from my resources site linked below. And I thank you in advance. Remember the free downloads that can help you with your irrigation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.